Here at Dell Hollow, we have three main generating units, and they each produce 18 megawatts of electricity. And that equates out to 54 megawatts, which is roughly the equivalent to power around 45,000, uh, a town of 45,000 people. The general way that hydropower is produced is uh, the act of falling water. And this falling water goes down through uh, a tube, comes down and hits what is called uh, the turbine. And the turbine is connected to the shaft, which in turn is uh, connects to the rotor. Basically what happens is the water turns the shaft and uh, the rotor uh, and it produces the electricity within the stator. And then from there, the power travels out to, the, to our switchyard uh, and uh, by connection to the grid through a transformer, the power is uh, uh, the voltage of the power is boosted up from 13,200 volts or 13,800 volts to either 69 or 72 kV, which is 1,000 volts. Primarily what our function is, is for peaking power. And peaking power, what that means is in the morning, there is a, generally a, a, a larger call or need on the grid for power because most people are getting up, going to work, cooking meals, uh, and the same is true for the evening when people are getting in from work and air conditioners are coming on, uh, stoves are being turned on, and again, uh, uh, hot water for baths and, and so on. And so what we're there for is we add a, a cushion to the national grid to smooth out uh, those peak hours of needed power. Okay, and what you can see behind me is the three main generating units which take the water from the reservoir and produce the power which is sent out to the local communities. Del Hollow Dam is, uh, is on the Obi River. The Obi River is a tributary into the Cumberland. And the, the primary reason these dams were built in the beginning was for flood control. And uh, hydropower is a is a, I'm going to say it's a cheap byproduct of the uh, flood storage capacity that we have. And what we do is we take all the, the water that is stored throughout the spring and summer months and uh, we convert that into power as needed. Uh, the reservoir level will rise. Uh, we have what's called a power pool. Our power pool is from 631 and, we, and here we deal with everything in elevations. Uh, the, the bottom of the power pool is elevation 631. And the top of it is at 651. So we have a 20 foot uh, boundary or a 20 foot uh, section of water that we utilize for power. And so you will notice if you're here uh, throughout the year that our lake levels rise and fall depending on, of course, how much rainwater we've had and what time of the year you're here. Another thing that we do is we keep the water levels to a, a level in the reservoir to where uh, the communities can uh, withdraw their drinking water and uh, distribute it out to the local areas. These units were put online. Uh, the furthest one down is Unit 1. It was put online in 1948. The next one is Unit 2. It was put on 1949. And Unit 3 was a few years later, which went online in 1953. What you see behind me is the penstock. The penstock is a 15 foot diameter tube or pipe that connects the reservoir to the generator. This is the shaft to the generator. It is being turned by the water that's being directed to the turbine out of the penstock. Dale Hall is uh, going into its 75th year and I'm very proud to be the superintendent here at Dale Hall. You need to take into consideration the amount of maintenance and the amount of care that the employees here have put through it throughout those years. I mean, we have a, a dedication that is unsurpassed in my opinion. And uh, we, we do a really good job at maintaining what equipment we have. And that's the truth.